I'm Princess Ilko. Here I am. Yes, smart, sweet, super white, cute. How nice of you to say. No, I'm drowning. I'm intending not to cry. Intelligent too. Look, going out in Germany wasn't expensive. If you wanted to see a live band, it cost five marks. That's like three bucks. Three dollars. A pick and pack by Dolly took me. It's free. There's no fly. They don't pay for it. I don't know what a beer costs. Maybe two mark fifty. Yeah, maybe I had one and then they built up the entire night. I wasn't into drinking. And it wasn't this situation, but I also had no money. Oh no one bought me a beer. <laughs> German men don't buy women beers. German men don't invite women for beers ever. Oh no, I remember when I went once on a visit. I smiled at the guy at the fabric because I wanted to get in. I thought I could get in for free because in Mexico no girl pays. He harshed me away and I noticed, I remember that event. I noticed that this is like, this is Germany, man. Here the woman has no privilege. No, the pick and pack, no one paid entrance. And then the, the jazz is could take, there was, was an entrance fee? Okay. Yeah, but it's like nothing. I wasn't going out clubbing. I ended my high school when I lived in that place. I finished my high school. I did it, yes. I was jobless. Yeah, well, I, I was busy. You know, high school is a serious thing in Germany. Yeah, it could be that the program was designed, I never thought about it, for the kids to, you know, to be have something, I don't know, buzz money, petty cash, so they could have a job and not feel completely abundant. That, but that wasn't, no one could live out of that. Yeah, everyone was like a stray cat in that place. Like a stray cat. All lonely. Like stray cats, they're like ugly and, and ungroomed and, you know, running around, always scared. Yeah, everyone. Yeah, probably me included in a way. That was maybe a first that someone opened the door of Eddie's room. I don't, I, I saw Stefan's room. I've never seen any other room of, of the kids in the house. Not one. Don't know, the one in front of me never looked into that. Did she open the door once? It was very small, maybe. Yeah, I guess she put me there to start. Well, she relied on that's an institution. Now it's going to take care of that. So my, my, so I did not have a father, but the one she said is my father, whom she left when I was two, and who he left me when I was four. He had to pay alimony. Eventually, she figured that one out. So as I moved into that institution, he had to pay now to. To whom exactly? I don't know. I don't know, but when I, yes, later, when I went out of the institution, all in a sudden he claimed, oh, I paid double. I paid you money, which he never did. And I also paid the institution to give me back a few thousand of, what? What are you talking about? Yeah, that's, that's, a, that is my experience with my father, who wasn't my father. But he didn't do that. And okay, that was because suddenly, I, as I went out of that institution, I was depending on him and I was still studying. So he said, if you don't give me the money, I'm going to stop paying now for you, because then you have to pay directly. And he did. He did stop paying. No, I had to go to the institution to, 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 to protect myself. But what is the protection if he stops paying it, but I have to go through an arduous process of God, what? I did never receive money from Helga again. Yeah, when I was starving in Mexico, I could not make it. Then she pulled out that money from my grandmother. 
and claimed. And then she gave me a little bit each month. I was studying again, finally. And that's how I went to France. Uh, it could be that it was somewhere over a thousand, but I had to pay 800 for my, for my apartment, or was it 600? Maybe I had to pay 600 and almost 700, and he gave me a receipt for 800 or 900, the locataire. So the government would actually give me a little bit help for aid. I live with nothing in France, with nothing. If it wouldn't have been for the generous, I say, student who was a model, very pretty, who wanted to pay a German lesson. I had also German lessons besides my studies. I gave German lessons. If it wouldn't have been for her, I would have frozen to death there, man. I did not have a jacket in Mexico. It's not, it's not cold there. She hired me and she advanced a few lessons. And so I could, I could get, no, I didn't know that. She advanced the lessons at start and then it start, suddenly the cold clashed in like terrifying. And so I had, I needed a jacket. So I, I had that money and I got myself a jacket and then I had to move away. And I called her because I felt I had to return the money. She said, it doesn't matter, just keep it. 